Turn the system over. Remove the three rubber feet. Here's a closer look. Remove the three screws underneath the rubber feet. Using a flathead probe, unsnap the back cover starting from the hinge area. Lift up and remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Remove the three screws that secure the battery to the chassis. Lift up and remove the battery. Press the release tabs until the memory pops up. Lift it out of the slot with care. Repeat the process for the second memory module. Disconnect the hard disk drive cable from the system board. Remove the three screws securing the hard drive bracket to the chassis. Lift up and remove the drive. Remove the cable from the hard disk drive. Remove the four screws on both sides of the bracket. Lift up and remove the hard disk drive. Remove the single screw to allow the SSD card to pop up. Lift the card out of the slot and remove it. Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless LAN card. Remove the single screw to allow the card to pop up. Lift the card out of the slot and remove it. Disconnect the LVDS cable from the system board. Disconnect the camera cable. Disconnect the speaker cable from the system board. Remove the four screws that secure the display assembly to the base part. Rotate the base part of the notebook to a perpendicular angle. Disengage the hinges. Lift up and remove the base part. Remove the two screws securing the keyboard to the chassis. Turn the system over. Flip the keyboard over and rest it on the palm rest. Release the ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable. Lift up and remove the keyboard. Pick the indicator board out of its slot. Flip the board over. Release the ZIF connector with a flat head probe. Disconnect the cable and remove the indicator board.
Release the ZIF connector. Disconnect the ribbon cable from the USB board. Remove the two screws that secure the USB board. Lift up and remove the USB board. Release the ZIF connector. Disconnect the power button board cable. Remove the single screw that secures the board to the chassis. Lift up and remove the power button board with care. Disconnect the power connector cable from the system board. Lift up and remove the power connector. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Loosen the seven captive screws that secure the heat sink to the system board following the order number embossed on the module. Lift up and remove the heat sink. Release the ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad cable. Turn the base over. Disconnect the microphone cable from the system board. Release the ZIF connector. Disconnect the indicator board cable. Release the ZIF connector. Disconnect the USB board cable. Release the ZIF connector. Disconnect the power button board cable. Eject the dummy card from the card reader. Remove the four screws securing the system board. Lift up the system board and remove it with care. Carefully work the way around the display panel and unsnap the bezel from the display cover. Lift and remove the bezel. Using a flat head probe, peel off the camera module from the top cover. Disconnect the signal cable and remove the module. Remove the six screws that secure the LCD panel to the display cover. Disconnect the LVDS cable from the back of the LCD panel. Here's a closer look. Lift up and remove the LCD panel. Remove the four screws that secure the right hinge to the display cover. Remove the right hinge to free the speaker cable. Remove the two screws that secure the speakers to the display cover. Release the cable from the guide 
lift up, and remove the speakers.